Well, we were out here, I don't know, two or three days ago, after a nice heavy rain, real, you know, that real heavy humidity, 130% here in Florida. We walked down here real dark underneath the canopy where we're hunting, and we shot at a pig. We thought that I missed the pig, but being lazy at being hot, you know, it being late in the night, we were tired, we just did a little bit of scouting around here, we didn't see any blood. Well, my brother-in-law Chad come back out here and he smelled something real nasty. That would be me. I came out here, we shot uh, Friday night. Was it Friday night or Saturday night? Doesn't matter. Whatever. It was around the, uh, Saturday night. And then uh, I came back out here Tuesday. And that's when I noticed something was smelly and didn't think much anything of it. Came in here, did my normal baiting routine. And I happened to look out in that direction and that's when I noticed the uh, vultures started shooting up. And I said, well, that's odd. Too much of a coincidence that we shot at a pig here. They took off in that direction. And now I'm seeing vultures over there. So naturally, I went to go take a look. So this is the beginning of the video to show that if you are a hog hunter and you think you, you, sh you shot at your pig and you think you missed, stop thinking, check look exhausted because if you don't do that you'll feel as bad as I do when you walk up on a huge boar that was probably meant for my wall and now it's rotting in the woods so let's go take a look at our <laughs> mistake <laughs> Before we show you, let me explain something to you. If you've never felt or smelt a pig about 300 pounds after a heavy rain, dead for four or five, however damn long he's been dead, it stinks. Now let's move on. Well, this boar hog here was obviously, looks like it was shot in the gut. Uh, it was a bad shot, what can I say? Uh, we all have them eventually, if you hunt long enough. If you haven't, you haven't hunted long enough. Uh, but he was a trophy boar. Uh, he would have been on my wall. He would have been something I could be proud of for the rest of my life. Uh, he's got about three and a half inch cutters, real sharp, you know, real prominent, nice cutters. Uh, you can tell a very defined bullet hole in the belly, it looks like. Uh, but this is what happens when you don't take the time and effort to locate the animals you shoot at. Uh, never think. Never assume. Always put in the work. If you don't, you're going to feel stupid. And I'm stupid enough to put it on YouTube. But I'm also <laughs> honest. Uh, <laughs> So this is what it is, you know. Sorry about the gore and graphics and all that whatnot, but you're hunters and you could deal with it. This is a mistake. Don't make mistakes. Do the work. But what is this that I can't see with eyes closed?